Guys, I'm here right outside of Publix, one of the largest supermarkets here in the Southeast. And I'm gonna start by saying that I'm a big fan of the company. They're one of the biggest, if not the biggest employers in the state, quality stuff. Uh, you know, the prices, they're, they're a little bit on the higher side compared to some of the other cheaper places, but, uh, but you get quality and you get what you pay for in life. And I am a big fan of the brand, the company and the people that work there. I just wanted to start by saying that. What is this? You got a violin playing here? Sounds like the Titanic is about to go down. So yeah, as the birds will chirp and agree, I am a big fan of Publix overall. However, there is one item that I believe is the most overhyped, overrated that you can find just about anywhere. And that is the famous chicken tender pub sub sandwich. So I'm about to get one here and chow down right outside and show you why I think that this is possibly the most overhyped sandwich of all time. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? But do I grab a slippery surface, a heart attack? And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll be chicken, man. guys you know aside from the typical supermarket grocery stuff they got some really good fresh food here that you can get and enjoy one of the things i love is the uh the sushi are you gonna spend so much money going out to a restaurant or ordering in for for sushi and the sushi that they have here at Publix is really pretty good and pretty reasonable so the other thing i want to tell you guys is that the deli here is actually great the sandwiches are fantastic. The bread is really good. I mean, it's not New York quality, but it's it, for Florida, it's great. It's delicious, it's fresh. My favorite one here to get is actually the Italian. They're also a good value, and quite often they have a daily special. So, but I'm here to uh, show you why I am not a fan of that chicken tender sub. Sure, the chicken tenders are pretty good too. Really? I think they're overrated, personally. Well, you yeah, thought teach their own. I like the Italian. Well, the I like to and uh, mix it with chipotle mayo. But everything else I love. You know? How you doing? Can I get the uh, chicken tender sub, please? Mayonnaise? Uh, no mayonnaise. I'm probably gonna do like uh, Italian dressing or something like that. Um, do me a favor when you cut it. Don't cut it too much. Just a couple of times, yeah. Yes. That's the way it should be, guys. So that it's. You taste the chicken, it's not in a bunch of little crumbs. You know what I mean? Okay, and... Yeah, yeah, exactly, one tastes the chicken. But how do most people get this sandwich? What do most people do? That's what I want. Because it's a very popular sandwich, you know? So I want it to be the popular way that most people get it, that rave about it. Thank you, dear. Great job. Appreciate it. All right, guys. I got my sandwich. And I probably should have just went for a half. I wasn't thinking because, uh, like I said, I'm not a fan. I'm going to show you why. So, um, it's not cheap, actually. $10.49. But to be honest with you, um, sometimes they have it on special. And you can get it a couple of bucks cheaper than that. But, but also... You know, everything's gone up in life. So this is actually, for a big sandwich like this, still a good deal. If I went to, like, Jersey Mike's, this probably cost me 15 bucks. All right, guys, so they have fine dining in here. Right, let's grab a spot. 
right here is good. As close to the outside as I can get. Get comfortable. Okay, so this is like, by now, the world famous chicken tender sub that everybody knows from here in Publix. There's once again what I paid for, $10.49 plus tax, and over 11 I think there's a bird in here. I don't know. Anyway. So far, so good, right? Looks pretty good. Oh, we have a casual day. Let me slip it back in there. Let me show it to you. And yeah, this, you know, on the surface, it looks like a really good sandwich and uh, something you want to sink, sink your teeth into. So, and, and I had her make it the exact way that is the most common among those that rave about it. So, here goes nothing. Okay. First bite into the first chicken tender. My first point of contention is that the chicken is dry. I have never ordered one of these. I've probably ordered, you know, maybe a dozen. And by the way, I'm gonna show you a better sandwich to get. It's much more delicious and it's a chicken, it's a chicken sub. So anyway, um, the problem with that first bite was it was dry. I'm gonna show you that tender that I took out again. She doused it in oil and vinegar. And I'm still having a little bit of a tough time swallowing it because it's dry. Get a drink ready. A lot of chewing. It's dry. It's pretty dry. <laughs> Take a, another bite into the next tender just to make sure it wasn't a bit of bad luck. Dry. Now, some people might say, well, she didn't chop it all the way up for you, barefoot. That's why it tastes dry to you. You're eating chunkier pieces of chicken, but I don't know about you guys. I've never heard of chicken typically being eaten, chopped into little bits, unless it's going into a salad. So, that don't hold water with me. Another bite. I'm still waiting to get to the main reason why I dislike this sandwich. And I'm not a fan. And I think it's overrated and overhyped and just nothing, nothing special. We'll get to it, trust me. Aha! This is why I think this is undoubtedly the most overhyped sandwich on the face of the planet. I'm sorry, get a little gross with you. But I'm gonna just show you what I just took out of my mouth. They don't take the skin off of the chicken tenders. And um, that actually was a small one. I'll get to another one and show you a better example of it. There you go. Can you guys see that? It's chicken skin. It's chicken skin that when you eat this, every couple of bites or so, you're gonna be chewing this and it's gonna taste like rubber bands and you're going to be swallowing it if you decide to. I decide not to. Here's another piece. Look at that. You see that? You see that? Publix, if you're watching, de-skin the chicken before you turn it into a tender. It'll make it much more tender. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting a lot of them now. long piece of skin. See that? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is why 
I can't eat this sandwich. I just can't. You guys might love the skin. You guys might love the skin. Maybe you do. More power to you. It's not for me. It's not my cup of chicken tender. I'll be honest with you, this one had a lot less of it than others that I've had before. I get that all throughout the sandwich. I don't usually come to this location. So it might be a location thing. I don't know. But they definitely, they definitely had it here too. Some of you may not have noticed it. The reason for that probably is because they chop it up into those small pieces. You're just swallowing it. But ch chicken skin grosses me out, man. It's just not for me. Give me a strip of bacon any day. I want to tell you guys a better sandwich that you can get that nobody knows about. If you ask them, they'll make it for you. It's my hidden gem sandwich. That is a chicken sandwich, and it's much more tender right here at Publix. Anyway, I'll save the second half for someone who really wants it. I'm done. Waiter, check please. Guys, I'm gonna help you out now. If you want the absolute best, most tender and juicy t chicken sandwich that you can get here at the deli, you have to ask for it because it's not on the menu. What you do is, uh, let's see, do they have it here? The oven roasted chicken, it's like the, um, the rotisserie chicken that they have here. It's not fried, so it's much healthier to begin with. What you do is you tell them that you want the rotisserie chicken on a sub sandwich. What they'll do is they'll go and they'll take the chicken off the chicken and they'll put it the white meat dark meat whatever you want on there and they'll put it on the sub roll and it's so much better i like to get it with um uh, like a sub dressing uh light lettuce some onions and your favorite cheese i always go with the provolone so try it for yourself and compare it to the pub sub chicken tender you'll be glad you did and by the way no skin about it. So guys, once again, don't let me talk you out of Publix. Great supermarket, great people, and uh, really good wholesome stuff. But when it comes to sandwiches, just leave that skin off my chicken tenders. Have you guys noticed the, uh, the skin on the sandwiches? I'll leave it to your guys' sub expertise. Maybe I'm wrong. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think of the Publix chicken tender sub. The pub soap. Till next time. On the parking lot of Publix, this is a Barefoot Vlogger saying, stay well, stay tuned, and keep your skin to yourself. Gentlemen, it has been a privilege playing with you tonight.